A lot of people always ask themselves, what can I do to be happy? Do everything you can to set up habits and take care of your mind in such a way that you generate more happiness. No matter who you are, what walk of life you're in, number one, you have to own your own happiness. Uh, take it away from other people demanding that they make you happy. Happy, beautiful people. You've heard it, right? You're, we're to be vibrant people. We're to be happy people. We're to be joyous people. But that doesn't happen by itself. What we have to do is we have to try. And the reason we have to try is because life gets in the way. All of us have within us this amazing capacity to manifest and attract anything that we want into our life. You're a seed. You are full of gifts, talents, potential. But if you plant yourself in unhealthy soil, if you hang around friends that compromise and pull you down, if you're in an environment that's limited with people that tell you what you can't become, you won't see the growth that you should. You are love. You are divine. Put that into your imagination. I am, I am well. I am happy. I am content. I am fulfilled. Even if your senses tell you that you're depressed. I have the power. I have the power to make this happen. I have the power to create this. I have the power to attract this. I have the power to save my relationship. I have the power to build an unstoppable business that serves people all over the world. I have the power to write my next book or my first book. So by placing into your imagination what you want and assuming the feeling of that wish is already fulfilled, you go through your life feeling that when enough of us do that, we will, we will transform this planet. I'm telling you, it, it can be done. When you know you can, you escape the prison of limiting beliefs. When you know you can, you reclaim your power, your joy, and your freedom. As you free yourself from the prison of limiting beliefs by choosing empowering beliefs, you truly can be and do and have whatever you desire. Your personality creates your personal reality. That's it. It's that simple. And your personality is made up of how you think, how you act, and how you feel. What you think and what you believe is what will come true for you. Your thoughts create your life. It's that simple. And when we can get that, we can make enormous changes. You're not supposed to go around solemn, serious all the time, burdened down by problems, taking time to laugh, to have fun. That re-energizes you. It helps keep you in balance. If it's all work, all stress, all dealing with problems, that's going to weigh you down. You need to start giving the vocabulary of happy to your families. You have to start giving the vocabulary of happy to your teens. But too often, we used to laugh when we were dating. We used to have fun. We used to enjoy each other. But now we've let the pressures of life cause us to become more solemn. We don't have time to laugh. We have bills to pay. We have children to raise. We're dealing with problems. We don't see eye to eye on every situation, but the joy is what's going to help you get through the tough times. Laughing together, having fun, that's going to help keep you together. You have a life that's better than 95% of the people on this planet. Most of the people on this planet do not have the luxury that you have right now to watch somebody on a video on YouTube and be able to benefit from that and receive information that could actually improve and better your life. Most people don't have that luxury. Most people do not have a freaking computer and the internet where you can have access to this. Most people don't have the chair, the, 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 the roof that you have over your head right now. Too many of you 
you are sitting around waiting to feel ready. You can still move forward when you're not ready. Too many of you are waiting to feel like you deserve to make six figures. It's about the action. Your mind, your history, your past, you will always have a million excuses not to do it, not to feel like it, not to believe in yourself. You are a master creator, constantly creating your life in exact accord with your thoughts and feelings. You are an external being worthy of anything and everything you desire. If you wanted to create a new personal reality, that on a fundamental level you would have to change the thoughts that you are thinking, the behaviors and habits that you're demonstrating, and the emotions that you've memorized that's become part of your identity. And most people try to create a new personal reality as the same personality, and it never works. We have to become somebody else. Did you live your life? Not someone else's life, not the parent's life, not your spouse's life, not your team's life, not your obligation's life. Did you live your life? Because you got one shot at it, so did you show up and do well? Friends, don't let one disappointment, one loss, one bad break cause you to settle. We all go through things we don't understand. Life doesn't always make sense. The key is you have to pass through the place of your greatest pain. If you get knocked down, bounce up. If somebody next to you gets knocked down, help them up. Look inside yourself and find that desire. Go win big. And because we're always looking back, reliving the negative, we end up carrying around all this baggage that weighs us down. One of the best things we can learn to do is drop it, let it go. The best part of your life is right up in front of you. It's a beautiful day while you're singing. Nothing matters to you. The smile is on and the worries are gone. Beautiful day while you're singing. Nothing matters to you. The smile is on and the worries are gone. You have within you what it'll take for you to go do something great in your life. But you got to get yourself in a positive cocoon where you make some fundamental decisions in your life. You're a force of nature. You're somebody great. You were put on this earth to make a difference. And I'm telling you that the way that you were made, the way that you are now is beautiful or handsome and that you're enough. And that once you can finally acknowledge the fact that you're enough, that you're beautiful and gifted and special and made in the image of this higher place, right? That once you can acknowledge that, you're going to be very, very happy. All your confidence, all your happiness, all the things you want to achieve in your life come from when you understand that you are made perfect the way you are. doesn't mean we don't want to improve things in our life and chase the next version of us and all that, but the you that exists now is enough and that you have everything within you right now to make your dreams happen, to be happy. Seize the moment, in, in, enjoy the moment, minister in the moment, do it now. D don't, don't somehow think that tomorrow is going to, to be the time when you go. I walk on the street. All people are passing by, it's a great day Nobody even cares that I've got a big smile on my side I talk to myself, is it true that we all must cry? Cause a great day, you shouldn't even care Cause you have a big smile on your side It's a beautiful day while you're singing Nothing matters to you the smile is on, and the worries are gone. Beautiful day while you're singing, nothing matters to you. The smile is on, and the worries are gone. First thing in the morning and last thing in the evening, I want you to look into your eyes and say, I love you. I really love you, and I accept you exactly as you are. It can be tough at first, 
But if you stick with it, in a short time, this affirmation will be true for you. We even have to remove at some point, sometimes, our own stupid thoughts, our own bad actions, our own poor habits. And we have to start with the fact that whether you call it the universe, luck, chance, God, evolution, spirit, whatever you call it, you've been blessed with breath. That you are alive right now, the odds of that is so extraordinarily rare that I really believe loving ourselves starts from a place of reverence for life. This is a good day. This is a new beginning. God